Welcome back to another informative video on the PARS Health TV channel. This video is all about activities and tips to help relieve muscle tension caused by poor sitting habits. These 7 exercises can be performed with minimal equipment, so you can do them anywhere. Stay tuned with us. The scapula, typically referred to as the shoulder blade, is a large, flat bone on top of the rib cage and is kept in an area by the multiple muscles of the shoulder girdle. Unlike other joints in the body, the scapulothoracic joint does not link to the body by fibrous, just like the skull, or cartilaginous, including intervertebral discs or synovial tissues such as the hip. To deliver stability, the scapulothoracic joint is connected to the coordinated dance of 17 muscles and its mobility at three other joints, the sternoclavicular, acromioclavicular, and glenohumeral joints, for the rest of the arm and shoulder. Weakness in any of these muscles connecting to the shoulder blade, especially in the larger scapular muscles like the serratus anterior, rhomboids, latissimus dorsi, and trapezius muscles, can directly influence the way the scapula motions and how the shoulder joint works. The shoulder needs mobility and stability to support and stabilize the rest of the upper extremities. Poor motion patterns result in weakened muscle strength at the scapula, causing uncoordinated motion, instability, and pain or injury in the wrist, elbow, and hand. To understand it better, you can think of the scapulae as the foundation of a house. A house is only as sturdy as its foundation, like a tree that is as sturdy as its roots. Just like these two, Upper body strength relies heavily on the stability of the scapular muscles, which ground the upper extremities and allow for greater distal power. Scapular muscle strength and mobility are vital to preventing injury. Weakness in the shoulder core and not operating the more significant, stronger muscles closer to the body can cause overuse of the smaller muscles in our extremities. Common overuse injuries are golfer's elbow, medial epicondylitis, tennis elbow, lateral epicondylitis, de Crevan's tenosynovitis, tendonitis, and skier's thumb. So how do we strengthen this shoulder core muscle and protect our elbows, hands, and wrists from injury? If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. Now, let's dive right into the exercise to strengthen scapular muscles. Here are 7 activities to enhance scapular stabilization and mobility. Number 7. Bilateral external rotation. To do this exercise, you should stand tall with shoulders down and back, pulling the abdomen towards the spine. Put your elbows at 90 degrees and hold the resistance band in your hands. Gently open your arms to the sides against resistance. Don't let shoulders lean forward, hold them down and back. This supports the rotator cuff muscles. Repeat the motion in two sets of 10 reps. Number 6. Modified Plank with Protraction. Start in a modified plank position, resting on your forearms. While keeping a neutral spine, draw the stomach up towards the spine for transverse ab muscle engagement, and activate the serratus anterior by moving through forearms, letting shoulder blades split farther apart. Return to the beginning position. Do 10 reps, having 3 seconds each time you push your arms away. Number 5. Dynamic T and I. To make this motion, lay face down with arms out to sides, similar to the letter T. While pulling the abdomen in and keeping a neutral spine, raise arms up to sides while holding a T pose by engaging muscles between shoulder blades. Slowly lower your arms until they are down by your side, making the letter I. Go back to T and repeat this action. Do not arch your lower back or lift your head up. Do two sets of 10 reps. Number 4. Standing rows. Do this exercise by standing facing the anchor with a resistance band at elbow height. Then step back until your arms are straight and the band has gentle pressure. Now, you should stand tall, 
move your shoulders down and back, and engage core muscles, do not hunch shoulders or push out ribs. Pull your elbows back when squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you. You should feel the muscles between your shoulder blades activate, and your chest should open up. This activity strengthens the scapular muscles for improved posture and scapular positioning. Do two sets of 10 reps. Number 3. Pec Stretch on Foam Roller. Put yourself on a foam roller with both head and tailbone help. To make a T-motion, you should open your arms to the sides and let gravity stretch them. Do not push your arms down to the floor if they do not touch. For W motion, flex both elbows and lower arms until arms hang at the side. For Snow Angel, begin with arms down by your side. Slowly move your arms out to the side and overhead like you are making a snow angel pose, and return to starting position. Maintain the W motion for about 20 seconds. Do not complete snow angel if you have shoulder pain with this exercise. Number 2. Band Pull Aparts. Perform 3 sets of 16 reps with a light Pilates band. Stand holding a long band with both hands, your palms should face each other, about shoulder width apart. There should be no strain in the band. Pull the band apart with both arms to the sides as wide as you can, holding them about shoulder height. Gradually let arms come back together, holding the band's pull until hands return to the start position. Repeat again. Number 1. Wall Ball Circles. Complete 3 sets and 15 reps on each arm in each direction with an 8-pound therapy ball. To do the activity, you should stand facing a flat wall and, with a medicine ball in front of you, place your feet shoulder width apart. Press the medicine ball against the wall with one of your hands, flat palm about shoulder height off the floor. Don't allow the ball to drop. Using your palm only, roll the ball around in clockwise and counterclockwise small circles. Including these 7 activities in your schedule is a surefire way to help build a group of strong scapular stabilizers. Do this routine or add it to an existing set of exercises. These workouts can be done as a preventive part of your daily training routine or as a warm-up. Listen to your body, and force it only to the comfort limit. Thank you, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day.